Hey, um, I've totes been spending my wake and bakes with, um, hanging, fanging with Claude. That is my latest book I've been working on. It's a satire and having a really good time with it. Um, I used to spend my wake and bakes with Martinex and Uncle Claude, I mean Uncle Carl, <laughs> but um, I'm having such a good time with banging with Claude that that's what I've been doing. It uh, begins during uh, the Civil War in New Orleans, and it's going to end uh, in Pittsburgh in the 70s, I think. Well, it's going to end up there anyways. It's about a vampire. So, it's sort of my answer to this woke-ass world. Call me Ann Rice. So, it's going to be funny. You know, I mean, think Oliver's Travels, which has been one of my favorite books since I was a kid. Something like that. It's me being Jonathan Swift and all snarky. Um, but anyways, I um, cleaned out the bird bath because the woodpeckers have been out there, like a whole family, um, mom and dad, um, the children, I think, are two daughters and a son. Anyways, there's a whole family of uh, woodpeckers. We actually have big woodpeckers and little woodpeckers. So I know all about them. But since I cleaned out the bird bath, and as you see, it's a smasher bird bath. It's got gargoyles and stuff on it. It's from the mansion. We inherited it when the grandson moved to North Carolina and the bird bath was too heavy to take with him. And uh, Ron got it from him and you know, belongs in the neighborhood. It belongs to one of the mansions, the Smasher Mansions, obviously. It's not a typical bird bath. But they love it. They love it. And uh, since I cleaned it out today, I knew that I was going to get tons of action. And um, I actually gave them some sunflower seeds, too. And last time that I gave them sunflower seeds, we had a whole party of Jays. I think there were nine of them out there. Because there's a whole... There's multi-generations of Jays. There's uh, granddaddies. I think they live to be about 35, actually, from what I've heard. Uh, and actually, they are related to the crows. They're corvids. So, very smart bird, besides being just beautiful. And there's our dove. She's beautiful, the morning dove. Uh, her mate will probably come. There's a few generations of doves here, too. Uh, they don't last as long. I believe doves are good eaten. Oh my lord, I saw the most gorgeous um, feral cat out there yesterday. He was just staring at me. He was all stripy and looked just like a wild cat. Oh my god, I wanted him. It was beautiful. Uh, I really don't think it was Trapper who was a kitten that we caught in a have a heart trap and gave back to his mother. Um, a long time ago. Um, I don't think it was him. Um, but, uh, see, the squirrels are already moving in on the sunflower seeds straight away, and there's lots of squirrels. I call these Pennsylvania monkeys. They're really just rats with cute tails, really, and they live in the trees, and they're really cute. Oh my goodness, there's the grinny. The chipmunk is something new. We never had grannies here. Um, back in Pittsburgh, we had lots of grannies living in the wall. Daddy used to kill them because he said they ruined the foundations of the house. But, um... We, uh, now do have chipmunks here. And that's something new. There's lots of cardinals. There's a female cardinal. Um... They represent spirits, actually, so usually, see, there's a, this is an old couple of cardinals, um, 
they cry outside at night when someone is going to die and then in the morning they come and see you and let you know the birds have always uh, I believe that about the dru I am a druid that's that last druid is is bullshit because I've always been a druid and I've always listened to the birds I've always I get all my best information from the crows really but um they're very informative if you just listen to them they have a lot to tell you a lot to say I've broken up fights with these guys these guys think they'll just bully on everybody you know just bully and uh daddy loved blue jays so much and uh let's see I'm surprised they haven't actually see these guys they just want some of these sunflower seeds but they're like ah eh, that squirrel and the doves are real nasty they're real dirty they'll like shit everywhere in the food and stuff like that to keep everybody else away oh they're like goldfish they're dirty birds and then we have cat birds they make a whole lot of noise and eat Ron's berries which really ticks them off but they're like ah, ah, they make a bunch of noise but here's granddad cardinal he says hello or is that a baby yeah that might be a baby that might be a baby. i don't know there's some juvie robins still because the lady woodpecker was at the bird bath yesterday with a juvie ro robin so we've got tons of robins in pittsburgh they would leave for the winter but they stay here it's my older hair and uh yeah they stay here we also have like three different kinds of hibiscus and rows of sharon so oh look tanya the gnomes tanya got me these gnomes the owls are out by my front door actually i think they've been restrung three times now but i've had those a long time i'm gonna have to send this video to tanya for sure so I notice like if I don't send my videos to my friends that they get no views because um, I'm invisible on YouTube, that's for sure. So, um, well, I mean we have seen Jays, but, oh wait, is the squirrel gone? I think there's a sparrow here. Oh, nope, it's a Lady Cardinal. So, she's she's picking up what... She's picking up the squirrel's casts off there. wonder why the squirrel left. That's weird. He never leaves. Mommy got me this from the bird shop, actually. This little bird feeder. And, um... it's well, There's the Grinny. Oh, look, the squirrel just chased a Grinny. You know, I got myself this gargoyle from this sculptor in New York, and, um, I had him out there. There's actually videos about it. I had him out there in the garden, but the squirrel kept, like, tackling him, actually. It would, like, knock him down and stuff. I guess he thought, I don't know, but he knocked him down so much that I was afraid he was going to break him or something. And he's really cool. His name's Boris, and... So I brought him in the house. I don't have him out there anymore because I was, you know, I didn't know how long he was going to last, but funny, funny, funny. So there's this little granny there in the corner who is so cute because, wow. I was saying that I've had some Beatrix Potter type of books. The damn squirrel's right here by the door. Where'd he go? I can't. He's right here somewhere. That's hard to... Oh, he's trying to get in the bird bath? What is going on with him now? Where, Where is he? No, he's back at the seeds. I'm sorry. I'm, like, trying to look... Oh, so, something just happened there. He just jumped. He just chased that chipmunk. There he is. These squirrels are something else. I'm telling you what. So selfish. So that's why we're not getting as much blue jay action as we should look he's just like look at him he's filling his pockets oh i'm gonna have to send this to jack and off too because oh we used to we used to <laughs> we had these hamsters and we used to just fill we used to give them cheese balls and they would do this they would fill their pockets full of cheese balls right and then they would go empty them in like their little hamster house that they had you know 
but we would block off their hamster house just to, just to watch them run around in circles going crazy like where are they going to empty these giant pockets from but look at him he's eating enough sunflower look at him this is Dale he's going to eat enough sunflower seeds here to uh, last him the winter it looks like look at that look at this this is some serious soap opera shit going on here right now. Look at that. Oh my goal. Oh my. How cute. I can't believe I caught him. I just... He's really rare. I mean, we've got tons of bunnies and stuff like... Tons of squirrels and, you know, blue jays, doves, cardinals. We have all that. But the chipmunks are new. So... We had a little salamander in here the other day. I wanted to put him in my tank, but I won't put him outside. We didn't know. I was looking it up, and I wasn't sure. They're really tiny, like my African dwarf frogs, which, you know what? I should just go to my aquariums, and my aquariums have been so wonderful all summer that I really should stop off and this video with, uh, with my aquariums so you can check it out. Let's go. So, here's Norfolk Troll Tree, who I also inherited. And uh, he's a Norfolk Pine, and he's doing wonderfully, and he loves me. Sometimes he grabs my ass and gives me a kiss. He's really sweet, actually. So, uh, my gnomes from Joanna's Furnace. One's wooden. That little wood carved one. There's a tree in England that Ron took a picture of. Uh, strawberry something. This is a painting that was uh, traded to me. Oh, well, let's see what's going on here. I love this tank. Look at, look, this is Vishnu. He's, he'll show off for us for sure. He's beautiful. And he finally is super happy with his little fishy friends, um, his little housekeepers. There is a uh, Ector who I adore, and my oldest fish, Oscar, as you can see, he's turned pink, he's no longer albino, he's so happy with his new friends, and they've got a little sunburst glow cat in here too, Govinda, and there she is back there going to town in that corner, and she kind of looks a little orange actually, I mean she's not as gorgeously bright as actor, but um, still, they're so happy together. So definitely, you know, get yourself, you know, I always kept one. I didn't really realize. I guess I just always kept one uh, as my little housekeeper that would live forever. So it didn't really matter. I can tell you that I actually, when I moved in with my girlfriend in my 20s, shout out to Teresa. I'll have to send her this, this uh, video too. I brought my fish tank and, uh... There was the catfish who had disappeared. He was living beneath the rocks in the empty tank for days and continued to live. Now, you just saw um, Govinda. Was that Govinda? N no, that was uh, Ector. You just saw him go in there. But this is super cute because this is where Vishnu sleeps in the top of the lantern. and Or the temple. It's a lantern, I guess. But anyways... When he's asleep in there, you can't even see him. It looks like, I mean, he just hides in there. But Oscar goes in there, like, while he's sleeping and cleans it out. And sometimes Vishnu just sits there, like, looking out. And Oscar goes in there and cleans about. And very cute. Very sweet. Especially because Vishnu here ate all the Tatras. Except for Sheeny, who I moved to the other tank here. Or will go. So... Finally, he's happy with his catty friends. Hello, Vishnu. He's a beautiful Paradise Vata boy. And Dewey Shree. And my Madison model. And Crazy Horse, who has a buffalo from the Weiss Market, actually. So, uh, here we're in Merlin's tank. He's going to come and show off. We've got the green light on in here, so... Here's Marlin, he's my big bumblebee bumblebee boy. He's awesome. I mean, oh, he's big actually, he just keeps growing and he's he's wonderful. So, and he's got a whole school of little tetras, neons, black, glow light. They all school together actually. 
and two quarries, Neptune and Shiva. Shiva's actually a panda, and uh, Neptune actually is um, a peppered. But they love each other, so it looks like they're very closely related, so it doesn't really matter. But definitely get more than one. So, and I guess we should go and uh, check out the last one, Julius's tank. These are little tiny snails that you see. So, whenever they tell you that the snails only live to be a year old, that's kind of not true. Because these babies are like a year old. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, they actually live for years. It just takes them to grow at a snail's pace, I suppose. So, those are the snails, which I actually transfer the snails back and forth. They don't seem to take in the Vishnu tank for some reason. I'm not sure why, what goes on there, why. I don't know, but I'll keep trying. I'm sure I'll get some over there, so. Alright. Here's Morgana. She's for sale. Grandma's plates, which would leave me with, uh, I'm gonna sell her. I oh, only have 10 Hemsteads left. That's enough. There's Getty. She is from Gettysburg College, so she just came to me, actually, because I was meant to have her. She's awesome. Uh, this is from Cranax, from Jack and Off for Christmas, and uh, which Mommy got, but uh, very nice little thing that Dame Darcy sent me. Very nice. And now Julius, who is looking for attention, definitely. He's so beautiful and sweet. Oh, my God, is he sweet? He's just like candy. As you can see, he's grown a lot, actually. He's gotten great big, too. He's such a sweet boy, honestly. They all use this little rock, actually. Tattoo the um, Emerald Quarry, who is great big. And Julius actually chases. Um, I've even seen the frogs in there. Now, the frogs are super friendly now. Let's see if we can find them. There's Tat. Tattoo, who I think is a girl. Uh, they don't even use this little paper flower pacing, which I thought was so cute and that they would really like and it has a little cave and stuff in it But no, they don't really use it Let's See where the frogs are. I think there's one hiding here behind the filter, which is what they tend to do look So oh, they're both there So they're fanging out together. So that's Krishna and Diana. They're darling actually they're really friendly now and they come up and feed at the surface, and absolutely adorable. But they're hanging out here behind the filter right now, which isn't a whole lot of fun. And Julius is like, look at me. I'm beautiful. Yes, you are. Okay, so I uh, wonder if there's anything new going on. Oh, uh, there's a frog. Look how cute. Came out. Came out to see us. Adorable. Oh, I just stepped on Shana. He's in bed. He didn't like that at all. I didn't really step on him. I just like sort of touched him. He gets, he's like, well, don't be talking to those frogs, bitch. So look, look how cute they are though. Look how cute. <laughs> They're so adorable. I can't believe, I read that you, they can live to be 20. So I can't believe that you can still get two fantastic pets for under $10. I mean, because these guys are colossal. They are so cute. That, oh, I started saying I want to write a book about them, actually. Like a little Beatrix Potter kind of book. Ew, there's some, like, smutched on my aquarium there. That needs, that needs cleaned up, definitely. But, um, and about the buzzards, too. All right, Shana just got up. So, uh, that means I got to take him out. And, um... There's the squirrel eating all the bird seeds, so I don't know. I thought we were going to get a whole party of jays, but Mr. Pig Pig here is going to eat them all up. And I got to take Shunner out, so I'll talk to you guys later. See you later. Love you. Bye.